Mm, that's drunk. It seems like there's about a gazillion military sim games on Super Nintendo, you know, where you control a tank or a helicopter and the game tries its hardest to resemble some sort of realism. There was Super Battle Tank, Super Battle Tank 2, Carrier Aces, Super Strike Eagle, Lock On, Turn and Burn, Steel Talons, lots and lots of war stuff. So I figure it's about time to start sorting through some more of these to see if there's anything here that actually stands out among the pack, starting with Air Cavalry, a game made exclusively for Super Nintendo in June 1995 by Synergistic Software, a dev team that also made Carrier Aces, another flying game which is more strategy based, as well as Spectre, otherwise known as this weird game, where you drive around in a first person view shooting shapes at other shapes. The only real thing Spectre has in common with Air Cavalry is that both games are very simple, just aim and shoot. Air Cavalry gives you one health meter and five continues to get through three campaigns that are split up into a few missions each, and there's three different mission types. One has you destroying a specific target, oftentimes while using a specific weapon to do so. One has you picking up or dropping off a team of commandos while dodging enemy fire. And one just has you shoot everything that moves, which is always fun. The controls are what you'd expect from a game like like this where the dev team was clearly going for some kind of pseudo-realistic feel, which is another way of saying it's very slow and it takes a while to get used to. But there's no real game-breaking flaws here or anything like that. You start out with just one helicopter, but you eventually earn up to four after you complete a few missions, and they each have their own strengths and weaknesses. You start out with the OH-6D Defender, which has a couple machine guns and 12 rockets, and there's also the AH-64A Apache, which has a 30mm chain gun, 8 Hellfire missiles, and 38 rockets. There's the AH-94A Valkyrie, which is used for stealth, but it also has Sidewinder missiles, as well as a ton of Hellfire missiles. And there's the UH-60A Blackhawk, which has similar armament as the others, but can transport up to 12 soldiers. You have a limited amount of weapons, and you flip between them using the B button and use A to shoot, and each helicopter does have its own feel, so to speak, but really not enough to make that much of a difference. The only one that really feels fast and responsive is the Valkyrie, but unfortunately that one's used mostly for sneaking around and not for all-out gunfights. As you can see, the cockpit view is pretty standard for the time. There's your radar, ammo, fuel, armor, all the doohickeys and thingababobs that you've seen in other games just like this. The number one thing that makes Air Cavalry stand out is that there's three different game modes. There's single player, of course, but there's also two player versus and two player co-op, both of which are a lot of fun. The controls may be kind of sluggish, but they're immediate enough that even if you're not experienced with games like this, there's still a somewhat forgiving pick up and play aspect here. You don't exactly have to be named John Helicopter to get the hang of this one. Having said that, however, the missions get brutally difficult after a while, with gunfire coming from absolutely everywhere, and your chopper just doesn't feel up to the task of dodging everything coming to kill you. Still, once you get burnt out on the missions, it's fun to play just one-on-one -on -one and try and destroy each other instead. What's interesting about that mode is that the screen is cropped so much that there's no radar available for either player, so you just have to hope you stumble into each other, which can end up being pretty entertaining. Oh, and just a word of warning about co-op, you can do damage to each other, so be prepared to do a lot of cursing. So yeah, just a very short, simple review on a short, simple game. You fly a helicopter, you blow stuff up, you get more missions, you get more helicopters, and so on and so forth. But the bread and butter of this game is the multiplayer, both the two-player versus and two-player co-op. Those are both a fun time, and I kind of sort of give this one a mild recommendation for this game for that alone. Sure, you'll probably get bored after like 20 minutes or so, but that's better than getting bored and frustrated after playing something like, I don't know, Balls 3D or Bill Lambeer's Combat Basketball or something. I wouldn't say to go play Air Cavalry in any way you can, but if you happen upon it, eh, it's not great, but it's not terrible either, and it can be fun with the second player. Alright, that's all for now. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.